All right, so moving on to some more trailer news. Doctor Who has gotten two, that's right, two, dos, trailers for Series 12. Literally within the past week. Like, literally a week and a day. So... At first, I thought, well, let me wait to try to get Tristan on for these, since I like to talk to, uh, since we do reviews on different Doctor Who stuff for Doctor Who Wednesday, but plans changed when they dropped a second one. And in the second one, they actually said that it's being released on New Year's, the first of 2020, which is hilarious because the first trailer, so this, to me, it feels as if they accidentally released the first trailer too late. Like, they forgot, and they were like, oh, man, we're supposed to release this in, like, you know, I don't know, September or something. They were like, damn it, we're scrambling. And so they just kind of released it as if they just scheduled it three months late, which sounds silly. But when when you have a trailer release, this one, the first one released November 23rd, and it says, coming early 2020 at the end of it. Um, then the second trailer at the end says, coming New Year's Day. I'm like, wait a minute hold on, hold on a second, that's just, literally, and this was released on the 2nd, so as of this recording, it's it's been two days, so this was released on the, on the 2nd, I'm like, wait a minute, this is only, I mean, 23rd to the 2nd, okay, so it isn't, it's a little over a week, to be fair, but it, I don't know, it just feels odd to me, because, especially because, you know, we're, we're in the first week of December, before you know it, New Year's will be here, I don't like it, but it is what it is, everybody. So it's just weird that it's only a month away and they're just like, yeah, no, it's coming out like next month. You would think that I don't want it to be like Star Wars where, you know, they're doing promotional stuff like three years in freaking advance or like certain video games where they drop, um, you know, announcement of something coming out. And then all of a sudden you're kind of waiting around like, what's going on with Shin Megami Tensei 5? Like, what's 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 going on there, guys? So I or heck with Kingdom Hearts or with uh, Final Fantasy. So the newest Final Fantasy, well, Final Fantasy 7, the remake uh, and Kingdom Hearts 3 for a while there. You kind of just looking around. You're like, what's what's going on? So. In this case, I'm happy that they're, you know, that they're not making us wait too long, but it did feel like radio silence for a bit. So I'm kind of half joking when I say this, but I do feel like the first trailer, they were like, damn it, that one's supposed to come out in October. And uh, we, we messed up the uh, the scheduling date. I don't know. Silly. But it still feels relevant. Now, talking about the trailers overall, we got a lot in them, of course. Uh, one thing that I continuously don't like, though, and I mean continuously, is uh, these, these tracks that they use in the trailers that have vocals in them. It doesn't matter what the song is. I just feel as if we should be using orchestral stuff. I don't know. For some reason, it just doesn't really feel... It doesn't really fit for me. Um, I don't know why it doesn't fit for me. I don't want to say, oh, is it what Doctor Who should be and what it is? No, because I've enjoyed Whitaker. I've enjoyed her take on the Doctor. But I just don't really enjoy the way they've been cutting up these trailers ever since the first few, actually. So it's just it's a continuous pet peeve of mine, but a pet peeve nonetheless. Now, talking about the content in there, in these trailers, I enjoy the fact that it seems as if we're going back to series-long plot running threads and things like that. And the reason why I enjoy it is is because usually they're hidden in some way and I really enjoy kind of rewatching the episodes and seeing where you can see some like Harold Saxton posters or things like that. Um, I know some people don't like them, I get it, but for me, it just feels, this is the thing, I like them when they have a good payoff. When they don't, fair. I get it, but I like when they have a good payoff. I find it very interesting, and um, and, I, and I don't know. I, I personally enjoy them. So in this case, the doctor mentions that something is coming for her. So I'm wondering if that is that whole you know weekly, uh, season long, series long plot thread, or if it's just a general thing that's specifically going to be in the um, specifically for New Year's. That's the thing too, by the way. We don't know so far some of these trailers. What is from New Year's and what is from the season proper or the series proper? And that, to me, I find very interesting. What, like, because I'm, I'm curious. I'm like, what, N now what am I going to get? And I think that actually is something good for, for marketing purposes specifically. Now I want to watch just to see, uh, have these trailers specifically just been for New Year's? Or is there, and yes, of course, I'm sure some of it obviously would be for the series proper, but what is going to come out of New Year's? Because you got all these villains, all these past villains that we see here, um, and, you know, Cybermen, villains like that. So we go, okay, I've seen these before. I know who you are. 
but who's showing up on New Year's? And also, of course, there's some new designs as well. Like there's this bluish creature that I have no idea what it is. The birds, uh, which I don't know if they're sentient or not. And also the this weird creature that's coming through the TARDIS looking like it's from something out of Silent Hill. Uh, literally looks like Kojima started working with them for, for this. It's very interesting. And also, this is the second trailer specifically, but the first one had these like weird children of the corn type, uh, type villains. And I'm... Yeah, I'm really curious. They're all in white. I'm wondering, like, they look like half witches, half aliens from space. Like, as if you're, as if witches are trying to abduct you. So, yeah, I'm, and also these, these people who I assume they're not the villains. I assume they're just random people mistaking the doctor for a threat in gas masks. So, of course, the obligatory, are you my mommy? And, um, yeah, I... I'm I'm hyped. I, I initially when I saw the trailer, I wasn't as hyped. I was like, "Oh, nice! It's coming back." So or coming early 2020, and I was like, "All right, I guess February, March. What is early? Three months? Uh, April is maybe early." Um, but we do have to acknowledge though is that even though they did say New Year's Day, that does not in any way mean that it's going to be consistently released after new year's day so i'm wondering if they're going to have a new year's day special like they did last year and then or yeah this past year it will be last year in a, in a month from now uh and then we're going to have a hiatus until april or something like that um i don't know i'm interested i'm wondering where you know again some some more intrigue i will admit oh i forgot to mention uh it seems like doctor's gonna be in france during some bombings not good but also typical doctor and there's this creature that looks like something out of common rider um or a Yu-Gi-Oh card it has the two horns the big ears some would say it's a star trek villain which i think fa somewhat ferengi like actually if the ferengi looked like this i don't care how they acted they'd be a threat if they looked like this Oh, peak Ferengi. But anyway, um, so we got a lot of action shots. Uh, Doctor running for planes or running at planes from Stephen Fry. Uh, looks like we got FBI, CIA again, as we've gotten in the past. Uh, I mean, the suits look like men in black. I don't know if they are or are not. Um, yeah, it's... Again, I'm hyped be only because now with all this footage we had thrown at us, knowing that it's going to start with a New Year's Day special and we're not actually going to skip it. Because I thought they were just going to skip it this year and that that's that. But it seems like they're committed to having a New Year's Day special, which is nice. Um, at least have that once per year, even if Doctor Who can't come out proper as a, as a full series. That That is nice. Um, and yeah, I'm wondering... You know, why are they all in suits? What are they infiltrating? Um, and who... Because, yeah, I guess if the men that they're that they're in the car with or in the limo with are in suits at that event, probably not FBI related. But again, we know quite literally nothing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Um, Space for All has me wondering if they're going to add some more companions, perhaps, or if they're just saying that space is for everyone, because it is. But I just, I don't know what they're going for with that specifically. So again, overall, I'm, the second trailer, because of the release date, had me more hyped. I hope there isn't drama in regards to kind of like just with, with everyone in the crew. Look, yes, there have to be some, some conflict in some way or another, but I don't want it to be one of those things where, oh, well, you know, uh, we have this many crew members. How can they all get along? How can all these companions get along with the doctor? Um... Yes, that's happened in the past, of course, but I seeing some of what's in these trailers, I hope that's not actually a like a big thing. Either way, like I've been saying over and over, interested to see where this is going to go. So now the ball's in your court. What about these two trailers have interested you, if anything? If not, also comment about that down below. And will you be watching Doctor Who on New Year's Day? At the very least, I'm going to have my DVR running. So tell me what you guys think about all of this stuff down in the comment section down below.